about national insignia national i n i'll write this i'll tell the spelling i n s i g n i a i n s i g n i a national insignia national insignia what does it mean like national symbols flag national anthem national song state emblem national bird national animals etc so one question expected in your examination samajh mein aa raha hai sabhi ko okay so you have to be really quick when i say some of you to just take down is it visible so first we'll see national flag got it now we'll see with this oh, okay national flag right down heading national flag national flag written okay how many colors we uh, national flag has four or three four or three, three. four, four saffron white green and blue do you understand fine so that is what is uh, first question look at the next statement okay this blue highlighted the ratio of width of the flag to its length is how much 2 is to 3 write out the statement the ratio width of width and length is how much 2 is to 3 written yes sir okay so the blue wheel is called as dharma chakra you know this the blue wheel is called as what dharma chakra is it visible which is shankar visible okay i spell dikh raha hai okay fine now from where we have taken this wheel the design of the wheel is appearing on sarnath lion capital of ashoka write down sarnath lion capital write down dharma chakra and this word sarnath lion capital sarnath sarnath lion capital sarnath lion capital written everyone written come come forward sarnath lion capital okay so how many spokes that uh, wheel has 24 okay next look at this statement the design of the national flag was adopted by the constituent assembly on 22nd july 1947 write down this design of national flag design of national flag was adopted by the constituent assembly of india on 22nd july 1947 underline the date 22nd july 19 फोर्टी सेवन Okay. Now we'll see something more in detail. Ready? Okay. The flag code. The flag should be always of cotton. It should not be of silk or plastic. Do you understand? And can anyone tell me uh, this national flag is manufactured in which which part of India? North. North part of Karnataka where? Belgaum. Okay. The answer is Karnataka. Find out the district. I think it is Hubli. Hubli or Tharwar, right? Ha, wo area. Hai. Okay. देखो इधर. This is the flag code. Okay. This is the flag code. मतलब you have to follow this flag code, everyone. so this you can read it and dekho dimension diya hai sab kuch diya hai kaise isko hoist karna hai kitne baje karna hai kitne you know the flag should not touch the ground all these things are there 
okay so you know the rest part who designed it pingali venkaiya okay okay next national anthem what is national anthem jana gana mana look here look here eyes on the screen national anthem is jana gana mana composed originally in bengali by whom rabindranath tagore okay and was adopted in its hindi version by the constituent assembly on 24th of january 1950 write down originally it is in bengali what happened pen che bina pen ke aage bina hathiyar ke ladai ke liye aage lo pakdo janakana mana originally it is in which language bengali language but on 24th of january 1950 24th of january 1950 what happened it is translated into hindi ho gaya written 24 जनवरी 1950 ये डेट इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके नेक्स्ट लुक एट दिस लुक एट आईज ऑन द स्क्रीन इट वॉज फर्स्ट सन ऑन 27 दिसंबर 1911 एट कोलकाता सेशन ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस समझ में आया पुट स्टार मार्क स्टार मार्क करो और ये स्टेटमेंट लिखना है इट वॉज फर्स्ट संग ऑन पहली बार 27 दिसंबर 1911 इन विच सेशन कोलकाता सेशन हायर एग्जामिनेशन दे विल आस्क यू हु वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस व्हेन दिस नेशनल सॉन्ग वॉज संग वेमेश चंद्र बैनर्जी इज द फर्स्ट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ आई he was not alive during this time ho gaya jaldi jaldi likhna hai can anyone tell me who is fatima bibi प्रतिभा देवी सिंह पाटिल first lady president of india okay so tomorrow i'll ask you one question on fatima bibi okay you have to read newspapers and come so have you written it was the f- uh, first song in this area Sir. okay eyes on the screen now look at this the blue highlighted line the complete song consists of five stanzas how many stanzas the first stanza contains full version of national anthem playing the playing time of full version of the national anthem is approximately how many seconds 52 seconds so write down okay 52 seconds 52 second is the time duration of national anthem 52 second is the time duration of national anthem ho gaya then next शॉर्ट वर्जन इज फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड बीस सेकेंड के लिए शॉर्ट वर्जन है ठीक है उसका मिनी वर्जन अभी कभी कभी यू नो आई शो यू दैट ओके ये है स्टैंडा फर्स्ट स्टैंडा ये है शॉर्टेस्ट आंसर देखा ये दिख रहा है आपको ओके okay, ये है शॉर्टेस्ट आंसर इसको 20 सेकंड है और 
ये है लॉन्ग वर्जन ये कितना सेकेंड है फिफ्टी टू सेकेंड समझ में आया ओके फाइन चलिए मूव हेड नाउ नेक्स्ट नेशनल सॉन्ग राइट डाउन वॉट इज नेशनल सॉन्ग हाँ इट इज नॉट अली बाबा प्लेन तबला ओके नाउ इज दैट सॉन्ग इज फेमस करेक्ट है ना अली बाबा प्लेन तबला एम तमिला ट्रैवला टाइम ट्रैवला हाँ पूरा दुनिया उसी में बैठा हुआ है ओके द सॉन्ग पीपल डोंट स्टैंड फॉर नेशनल एंथम एंड नेशनल सॉन्ग बट टू मेक दिस काइंड ऑफ टिकटॉक वीडियो दिल स्टैंड फॉर थ्री आवर्स टूगेदर करेक्ट किधर भी ट्रेन प्लेटफॉर्म में यू नो ओके द सॉन्ग वन दे मात्रम लुक एट दिस द सॉन्ग वन दे मात्रम कंपोज इन संस्कृत इन विच लैंग्वेज बाय पंकिन चंद्र चैटर्जी बाय होम was a source of inspiration to the people in the struggle for freedom it has an equal status with janagana mana on january 24 1915 president rajendra prasad came up with a statement in the constituent assembly the song vande matram which has played a historic part in the struggle of indian freedom shall be honored equally with janagana mana and shall have equal status with it the first political occasion it was sung was in 1896 session of indian national congress The song was a part of Bumkin Chandra's most famous novel, that is Ananda Mutt, in 1882. You understand? Look here now. Uh, you know, Bengal split is an incident in Indian history. Which uh, which split here? Bengal split. West Bengal or East Bengal? Eh, na? Usko ek officer ne divide kiya tha. Wo officer ka naam hai Lord Curzon. Officer ka naam kya hai? Likh lo. Write down. Lord Curzon. L O R D. Lord. Curzon, C U R Z O N, C U R Z O N. Lord Curzon in 1905, 1905. Lord Curzon in 1905. Look here now, eyes on me. Lord Curzon in 1905 divided Bengal into East Bengal and West Bengal. So Indians were very sad. They were sad and they started singing a song that is Vande Mataram. Do you understand? Okay, so this song played a very important role. During Indian freedom struggle, which song I am talking about? Vande Mataram by Bumkin Chandra Ji, not by A R Rahman. समझ में है? वो अलग है, ठीक है? Fine. So now what happens? Dr. Rajendra Prasad, on which date? 24th of January, 1950. He told that the song will have the same status. And now write down the first point in this national song. Will you go? It is in which language? Sanskrit language. By whom? बमकिन चंद्र चैटर्जी लिखो आयुष फटाफट इट इज इन संस्कृत लैंग्वेज बाय बमकिन चंद्र चैटर्जी कंप्लीटेड सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट uh you just take it down it was first sung take down this jaldi jaldi likhna it was first sung in 1896 session of indian national congress it was first sung during 1896 congress sai ganesh can you see this screen properly it was sung during 1896 session of indian national congress ho gaya sabhi ka नेक्स्ट नॉवेल आनंद मठ एटीन एटी टू राइट ऑन दिस वॉट एवर आई एम हाईलाइटिंग राइट ऑन दैट नॉवेल आनंद मठ एटीन एटी टू कंप्लीटेड अच्छा सुनो अब इधर देखो समथिंग बियॉन्ड द टेक्स्ट बुक्स और ओके समथिंग बियॉन्ड दिस थिंग्स वंदे मातरम यू नो दिस सॉन्ग कितने लोगों को मालूम है वंदे मातरम हाँ बोलो कैन एनी वन सिंग फ्यू थिंग नेशनल फ्लैग नेशनल नेशनल सॉन्ग ओके देखो दिस इज द लिरिक्स वंदे मातरम सुजलाम सुफलाम मलयज शीतलाम सस्य श्यामलाम मातरम वंदे मातरम सुब्र ज्योत्ना पुलकित यामिनी पुल्य कुसुमिता ध्रुमदल शोभिनी सुहासिनी सुमद 
ಸುಮಧುರ ಭಾಷಿನಿ ಸುಖಧಾಂ ವರಧಾಂ ಮಾತರಂ ಒಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ಒಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ the rest all stands up it praises lord kali it praises which god lord kali kali okay kali mata so what happens if at present if we keep this as a national song okay national anthem imagine the other religion people like muslim christians buddhist jain they say why should i praise kali india is a secular country correct do india follow any one particular religion no india is a secular country we we follow all religion are equal for us so the second stanza the second line from in this poem what happens it praises lord kali so that's the reason the government has told we will not sing beyond this kali hum yehi line gayenge iske aage hum nahi gayenge samajh mein aaya why iske aage bhi hai wo wo lyrics mere paas pada hua hai main deta hu tum logo ko agar chahiye to samajh mein aaya okay so ye hai okay now one more question national anthem we saw national song we saw national anthem i did not play in classroom why <laughs> yes we have to give respect correct that is a flag code samajh mein aaya and uh, supreme court recently few years back they have given a judgment uh, before start of any movies in theater there will be national anthem sung okay and everyone should stand for it okay aisa ek judgment diya tha is is a good judgment write down one more information sanyasi revolt s a n y a s i sanyasi revolt s a n y a s i sanyasi revolt during 1857 sanyasi revolt during 1857 motivated bankim chandra chatterjee motivated bankim chandra chatterjee to write anand mat book to write anand mat book ready chalo aage badhenge there dekho sab log eyes on the screen the state emblem is an adaptation from the sarnath line capital of ashoka in the original there are four lines how many lines here four line see here in exam the questions will be like this how many animals are there in national emblem how many animals are there we'll see that okay look at this there are four lions samajh mein aa raha hai standing back to back mounted on abacus with a frizzy carrying sculptures in high relief of an elephant El- what is elephant is it a bird or an animal it is an animal समझ में आया ना सो हाउ मेनी फोर प्लस वन कितना हो गया लुक एट दिस एन एलिफेंट गैलोपिंग हॉर्स अ बुल एंड लाइन सेपरेटेड बाय इंटरवेनिंग व्हील्स ओवर अ बेल शेप लोटस सो व्हिच फ्लावर यू हैव हियर लोटस कार्ड आउट ऑफ अ सिंगल ब्लॉक ऑफ पॉलिश्ड सैंडस्टोन द कैपिटल इज क्राउंड बाय द व्हील ऑफ लॉ दैट इज धर्मचक्र सो राइट डाउन फोर लायंस एलिफेंट गैलोपिंग हॉर्स अ बुल a bull you want the spelling ek minute ek minute okay elephant is a male or a female male or both okay so what is male uh, term for elephant elephant mein male hota hai na to usko kya bole yes 
इंग्लिश कोई है इधर ये सात्विक Just guess it, no? Tell something. Yeah. Okay. The male uh, in elephant is called as bull. What is that? Bull. समझ में आया? Write down. Okay. इधर देखो. Elephant लिखा, galloping horse लिखा, bull and a lion. So these are all separated by the wheels. These are all separated by the wheels. Over a bell-shaped lotus. What shape lotus here? bell shaped lotus bell shaped lotus bell shaped lotus okay look at this seen january 26 1950 we took that and this is very important the motto satyameva jayate what is india's motto satyameva jayate write down it is in sanskrit language india ka motto kya hai satyameva jayate you have to write this complete sentence which i am shading here the motto satyameva jayate which means truth alone triumphs written in devanagari script written in which script devanagari devanagari very very important devanagari script likha sabhi ne hmm then write down few extra point pandit madan mohan malviya kya ho gaya kon aa raha hai nahi nahi aa jao aage aa jao bahar gaye to bahar gaya samjho ye general compartment hai indian railway ka ha chalo likho kisi ka seat reserve nahi hai samajh mein aaya ha likho pandit madan mohan malviya gave the idea of gave the idea of the motto satyameva jayate pandit madan mohan malviya gave the idea of the motto satyameva jayate satyameva jayate from a book from a book from a book mundaka upanishad from a book mundaka upanishad from a book mundaka upanishad go back go back second class mula poyo kar ma'am paper mundaka upanishad written sabina likha those who don't know spelling just raise your hand i will tell you spellings if possible and write down in bracket banaras hindu university was started by him banaras hindu university was started by him nowadays exam questions are getting deeper so i am giving you this extra information banaras hindu university banaras is famous for what pan silk and mysore is famous for mysore is famous for mysore park or or yeah palace or mysore silk mysore silk surat silk kanjipuram silk banaras silk right this will see it in i think geography what is eri musa mulberry earthworms and and uh, silk worms sorry so, silk worms and how these silks are produced okay okay so math problem is done okay the question here the doubt was what is galloping horse kabhi tumne alexander ka picture dekha hai alexander ko kaisa hai wo kaisa khada hota hai horse ke upar alexander chodo napoleon ko dekha hai dekha hai nahi dekha hai ek minute ये क्या घोड़ा क्या कर रहा है दिस इज कॉल्ड एज गैलोपिंग हॉर्स 
Do you understand? Okay. Fine. Next, national bird. What is India's national bird? No. Write down this word from today. Pavo Christastus. From today, you will not say peacock. Write down. P A V O C R I S T A T U S. Peacock is male or female? Female. This is male. Okay. Female of uh, this bird? P? Correct. Hello, Hogya. Next. There is nothing special. Let us see if there is any other information. Okay, male. That's it. No other special information. Next, write down national animal. What is India's national animal? No. Panthera tigris. Mm. Write down. Panthera tigris is our national animal. From today, you should say Panthera tigris. Write down. Panthera tigris. <coughs> Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This information I'm giving from the government of India's website. Take it. Which state in India is called as land of Bolo or twenty twenty seven states? Say you Okay, 26 states. Bhutan, Bangladesh, to Pakistan. You can go to Pakistan after. Chat puja me, tumne puja me, Bhagwan ko de diya kya dima? Bhagwan ko dima de diya dima. Okay, what is the answer? Which state in India is called as land of tigers? Which state in India is called as land of elephants? Yeah. Elephant is Karnataka. Tiger is Madhya Pradesh. Lion is Lion is Gujarat. Okay. Next. Which country in the world is famous for elephants? Country in the world is famous for elephants. Australia? Sir, Thailand. Answer? Okay, which is the only bird found in almost all continent except one? Which bird is found in all continents? It is present in all continents, even in America. Maybe in White House it is there. And even in Bangalore it is there. Pigeon is wrong. Crow is wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Sparrow. Sparrow. Sparrow is correct. But it is not present in Antarctica because of the cold conditions. Do you understand? Fine. So revise this. So national insignia is done. Revise everything. We'll have a revision and then we'll move forward. Who designed national flag? Pingali Venkaya. See, I am giving very less information. Okay, keeping in mind a small examination which is going to come that is Sydney School, RMS, AFCAT. These are all, this is not considered as exam. It is just for namesake. You understand? Exam is the real UPSC, Union Public Service Commission. The worst nightmare for all the students. Okay. There the question will be asked like this. Who was the first female freedom fighter to hoist the national flag? Sir. Yes, you want this information? Yes, sir. Madam Bika Ji Kama. Write down. 
मैडम बीका जी काम आप मैडम नहीं मैडम सर मैडम बोलते हैं ना मैडम बीका जी क्या मा सी एम ए मैडम बीका जी क्या मा ओके देखो शी इज दिस लेडी ओके and this is the first flag just let me see whether it is visible can you see this yes sir she is hoisting the first flag and here it is written vande mataram do you understand so she was the first remember this then surya sen right now surya sen is the first revolutionary Surya Sen is the first revolutionary to hoist the national flag. <clears throat> first revolutionary to hoist the national flag. Done. Still, many information is there. Pingali Venkaya and all these things. Look, first India ka flag aisa tha design kiya tha. Okay. It was in 1907. Write down. Madam Bika Ji Kama. Stuttgart, S T U double T G A R T, S T U double T G A R T, Stuttgart, Germany, August nineteen zero seven. August nineteen zero seven. She hoisted the national flag. She hoisted the national flag. Done, everyone. Okay. Tell me, who, uh, which freedom fighter did not hoist the national flag? After India become independence, which Indian freedom fighter did not hoist the national flag after India got independence? Answer: Subhash Chandra Bose. Some question? समझ में आ रहे नहीं आ रहे? क्या है question? क्या है मेरा? You are repeating the question. I want the meaning. Okay, मेरा question है कौन से नेता ने सारों को समझ में आ रहा है? कौन से नेता ने भारत का स्वतंत्र मिलने के बाद वो झेंडा को ये नहीं किया महात्मा गांधी वॉट इज द आंसर महात्मा गांधी क्या हुआ वो एक साल बाद हुआ एक साल बाद हुआ नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट में गांधी जी एक्सपायर्ड एसोसिनेटेड जनवरी थर्टी वन जनवरी थर्टी And India got freedom in 1947, August 15, 1947. I hope you remember the story of why India declared Independence Day on August 15. मैंने बताया क्लासरूम में? हाँ, fine, okay. चलो, next हमने क्या पढ़ा था? State emblem, lion, right? Lion inscription. How many animals are there? How many animals? Five. Four lions. Four lions. Hmm? Four lions. Okay, lion. Then how many? Okay, how many types of animals you have in this national emblem? Pigeon is there. Pigeon, crow, eagle. No, then tell no. Lion, elephant, galloping horse. Then bull. Four type. Four types of animals. Now, I, if the question is how many animals, there are total five lions, one elephant, one bull, and one horse. So total how much? Very good. हो जाएगा पास, okay? Pass हो जाओगे, don't worry. Okay, peacock. Okay, which god has this as a vehicle? Yes. Next tiger. Before 1971, what was India's national animal? Lion. Before 1971, what was India's national animal? Yeah. Yeah. Panthera leo persica. Write down. Panthera leo persica. Panthera leo persica. Panther is. Kind of a family, wild cat family. Yeah. Okay. Black panther. 
इधर देखो सुनो इधर देखो मैं बताता हूँ क्या है ओके ये ये टाइप का एनिमल देखा तुमने इसका टेल है हाउ मेनी लेग्स इट हैज फोर इफ यू सी द टीथ ओके द कैन टीथ आर वेरी शार्प एंड इट इट्स ओनली फ्लैश कार्नी वोरस एनिमल so this animals are called as big cats or wild cats they are called as what big cats or wild cats in science what we do we call this big cats as panther we call this what panther abhi tiger dekho abhi maine idhar lagaya panthera leo abhi leo lagaya leo means what kaun sa animal aaya lionel messi aaya ya lion aaya lion aaya right okay why did i say lionel messi कल क्या हुआ टेल मी यस्टरडे व्हाट हैपेंड यस यस्टरडे ब्राजील ब्राजील इज लूजिंग मे बी उसका मुश्किल है क्वालीफाई होना मुश्किल है समझ में आया एंड इंडिया इज फाइटिंग इन कतार फॉर फुटबॉल आई थिंक डिसक्वालीफाई हो गया क्वालीफाई अभी तक नहीं हुआ ना एशिया वी आर फाइटिंग विद द होल एशियन जायंट लेट अस सी व्हाट हैपेंस ओके समझ में आया पैंथेरा लियो फरसिका फाइन नेक्स्ट राइट डाउन यूनाइटेड नेशन I'll take you to United Nations now. Phone, you. No, sir, I'm not going to go. Okay, okay, good. Okay, here, see, everyone, United Nations. Did you understand? 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 Congo, correct. Just a minute. Where is that PDF I gave you? Do you remember? Yes, sir. Human system, secretary, main bodies. No, there was one PDF. This is the flag code, not required for us. UN system. Okay, see, under United Nations, we have so many international organizations. We'll see this one by one. Okay. Now. Okay, we'll start with main body, sir. Okay, so the first one is what here? General Assembly. Okay, General Assembly. There are totally how many countries here? One ninety-three. How many countries here? One ninety-three. So we'll see this history in detail first. Okay, see. General Assembly, Security Council, these are the six major organizations inside what? UN. First time where? Nineteen forty-six, London. Where is London? The UK. UK is United Kingdom. Europe. England. 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 England.
That's the problem with the. किधर है? मेरा अलग क्वेश्चन है तुम अलग दुनिया में हो। Write down. London Bridge was designed by Thomas Telford, father of civil engineer. गिरने दो, no problem. Let it break. किसका फोन है? भैया का? Write down, write down. No dis, no distraction. London Bridge is designed by Thomas Telford. He is considered as father of civil engineering. Thomas Telford. This is extra information not asked in your examination. Okay. Thomas Telford. London is situated on the river Thames. Thames. T H A M E S. And there is a clock that is Big Ben. Big Ben clock. B I G B E N. Big Ben. Big Ben clock. Okay, hello. Where is the headquarter of UN? New York. Every year in September, there will be a meeting. UN, uh, UNGA, United Nations. Who is this? He is Fidel Castro from Cuba. Who is this? Fidel Castro from Cuba. And what is the capital of Cuba? Havana. What is the capital? Havana. See, these people are the real heroes. You can say the legend. You don't know it because you were not alive or you were not born when these people created history. Okay. But these people are the real uh, change makers in the world. Okay. Look at this now. What it is. Every person, every leader of a country is given maximum 15 minutes to give a speech. How many minutes? <laughs> Only 15 minutes. 15 minutes time lete bhashan dene ke liye. But he went and he gave a speech for some time. You just see what is the time. Next. Can you see this man here? His name is Muammar Gaddafi. What is his name? Muammar Gaddafi. He came for the speech. He took the UN, United Nations book. Rules hota hai na? UN ka rules hota hai na? He told. No country is following the rules. I will tear this. He tore the book and he uh, thrown it. You understand? So that is what these people are. Look at this. Okay, write down. The first, the first female president of UNO, the first female president of United Nations Organization, who is that? Female president of United Nations Organization. Who is that? Correct. 
విజయలక్ష్మి పండిత్ విజయలక్ష్మి పండిత్ ఓకే ద హెడ్ క్వార్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ యుఎన్ఓ ఇస్ ఇన్ న్యూయార్క్ నెక్స్ట్ రైట్ ఆన్ సెక్యూరిటీ కౌన్సిల్ security council united nation security council look at this i am highlighting it look here eyes on the screen everyone it has 15 members five permanent 10 non permanent members each member has one vote okay next the security council takes the lead in determining the existence of threat to the peace or act of aggression samajh mein aaya next daily program this is all not important so write down this points it has how many members 15 members hmm write down 15 members five permanent and 10 non permanent members five permanent and 10 non permanent members written write down us uk france russia china us uk france russia china these are the five permanent countries us uk france russia and china then Okay, next slide on economic and social council economic and social council there are 54 members economic and social council there are 54 members there are 54 members next trusteeships council trusteeship council this is a kind of a trust which helps in governing the general assembly likha sabhi ne next international court of justice very important write down international court of justice international court of justice written okay look at this look at this the highlight part here its seat is at peace palace in hague netherland write down the headquarter is in the headquarter is in the hague netherland i am highlighting this the hague netherland okay write down this the hague netherland what is the capital of netherland amsterdam amsterdam okay remember this okay it's very long no need to show but i see j and i see c both are same next write down secretariat they have okay look at this everyone write down the first un secretary general the first un secretary general Rick Willey describe the job 
the first UN Secretary General, they will ask you this question. Just write till here. Samaj me aya? Done? Okay, next. Okay, write down this. The present current, the current general, secretary general is Antonio Gutierrez. The current secretary general is Antonio Gutierrez. He is from Portugal. Antonio Gutierrez, G U T E R R E S. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so who is the first female president of UNO? Tell me. Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. Okay, revise everything. Start revising. Revise everything, whatever I give, national flag. Okay, you and now everything you revise, then we'll move ahead.
This is what I was watching. Yeah, look here. This one chart is more than sufficient. Look here, eyes on the screen. By afternoon, uh, some of the students, they have taken down everything. So look here. United Nations General Assembly. Inside General Assembly, you have uh, Security Council, Economic Council, right? So many things are there, right? Okay, ye sab dekha tha humne. Abhi dekho. General Assembly ke andar subsidiary organs. There is Human Rights Council, International Law Commission. Okay, like that. Fund and program, UNDP, UNEP. Then research and trainings. There are so many things. Okay, abhi ye dekho. For example, General Assembly mein you have IAEA. So what is that full form? International Atomic Energy Association. Okay, so our agency... Now here, the, everything has a very big story. Okay, now for example, OPCW, Organization for Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. It has won Nobel Prize for Peace. Okay, samaj mein aya? Like that, abhi dekho, Special Agency. Economic Council ke andar function, ye sab hai, Special Agency, FAO. Okay, then IMF, what is IMF? Yes, International Monetary Fund. Okay, you have so many things. ILO, International Labor Organization. Okay, so WHO, World Health Organization. So they will ask you this. World Bank. Okay, we'll see this one by one. Ready? Okay, just a minute. I'll just show you this one. They go. Inside General Assembly, okay, you have subsidiary organs. And these organs are Disarmament Commission. Okay, all these things are there. Now, funds and program. How do they manage the fund? Okay, the first one you have what? UNDP, United Nations Development Program. Now, this UNDP will rep uh, will generate a report called as HDI, Human Development Index. What is that report? Human. Human Development Index. So those who are writing UPSC examinations for them, this kind of question they will ask you. Those who are writing Sinai School or small examination, they'll ask you, what is this? UNDP, UNEP, National uh, Nations Environment Program, then UNICEF. Have you heard UNICEF? Okay. Harik organization ka headquarters. Hai. Every organization has a headquarters. So in exam, they will ask you headquarters also. Okay, see, this is one thing. 
okay then here the green one this is very very important okay this is very very important what is ctpt tell me read it out comprehensive nuclear treat, uh, test ban treaty organization iaea international atomic energy agency icc what international criminal code okay there is a new law that icc has started that is Cric international cricket comes what is the new rule baller ka rule care time duration care yes tumko nahi malum what is this okay uh, how many of you girls raise your hand now first okay first girls will tell the answers okay let me see if girls can answer then the question is if they can't answer the question goes to boys okay what is the time given for a batsman to enter the ground if one batsman is out wait 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 piche anvita yes sanjoli ne one priyanka wait 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 pujita it's a big issue you know what happened with sri lankan player ha ah, sri lankan player now that uh, team is banned matlab icc ne ban kiya tha so ye hua match mein world cup mein hua exam mein puch sakta hai what they will ask you time duration now from the next i international odi and t20 there is a new rule for the bowlers what is that new rule if you attend uh, attend today's quiz you will understand that let me see i will ask you the same question tomorrow otherwise i'll come to know whether you are doing it or not is cancer maine aaj ke quiz mein diya 10 baje quiz aayega theek hai so you have wto world trade organization okay next day dekho security council सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल में जस्ट इकोनॉमिक काउंसिल ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर देयर बट आई डायरेक्टली शो यू दिस इज इट विजिबल Hmm, right now UNDP headquarters New York keep writing now UNDP write down the full write the short form first you will write the short form UNDP then put a dash then write down United Nation Development Program United Nation Development Program okay the headquarters is in New York where is the headquarters New York, New York. new york next right the next one you and habitat is it visible back susindran you and habitat write down the full form united nation yeah oh ye light band kar do or no ye light ha oh. is it visible ha uh, write down united nation human settlement program united nation human settlement program human settlement program headquarter nairobi nairobi is in kenya nairobi is in kenya next next u n e p second third one it's here u n e p write the short form first and then write united nation environment program united nation environment program headquarters once again nairobi kenya headquarters once again nairobi kenya next unicef u n i c e f u n i c e f unicef write on full form united nation children's fund united nations children's fund headquarters new york usa headquarters new york usa ho gaya headquarters new york usa next unfpa unfpa united nation population fund 
यूनाइटेड नेशन पॉपुलेशन फंड हेडक्वार्टर्स न्यूयॉर्क यूएसए हेडक्वार्टर्स न्यूयॉर्क यूएसए रिटर्न यू कंप्लीटेड ऑन द टास्क यू शो इट टू मैम कम हियर टेक दिस नोटबुक एंड शो इट ओके न्यूयॉर्क सिटी नेक्स्ट डब्ल्यू एफ पी वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम डब्ल्यू एफ पी राइट ऑन इन शॉर्ट डब्ल्यू एफ पी वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम एंड हेडक्वार्टर इज इन रोम हेडक्वार्टर इज इन रोम कम्प्लीटेड वेर इज रोम इटली एंड यू नो इन साइड रोम देर इज अ स्मॉलेस्ट कंट्री ऑफ दर्ल्ड वेटिकन सिटी ओके स्टिल यू हैव एफ ए ये सब We'll, we can't do it today. We'll keep it for tomorrow. You got it? Yes, sir. Fine. So let us now continue with the science. Yesterday we have done how many? Forty-five questions. This is what we did. Forty-five question. हो गया था ना हमारा? चलो फोर्टी सिक्स की फटाफट आज सारा सिक्सटी फोर हो जाना चाहिए आज जस्ट मैं 